Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm AB. I'm Daniela. And we are part of the Valdez family. And today we are doing the heart to heart collab. It was created by Keeping Up With The Griffins. They're doing this heart to heart collab for Valentine's Day. Well, they did say that it extends beyond Valentine's Day. Love is something that should be celebrated every day. All year long, baby. All year long. So this is going to be a heart to heart collab. It consists of 14 questions. Uh, we're going to be answering these questions for you guys and hopefully it serves to motivation, to inspiration, to all the couples out there and even for single people. I mean, just so you know uh, what it's like. Uh, we do have some experience, I would say. I mean, 13 years maybe <laughs> together. That's uh, right, that's right. Well, 12 or 13 years together. Well, it's gonna be 13 It's gonna be 13 now. now because we've been married 10 years. Yep. So, and we've been together for 12 and some years, about to be 13 years. That's correct. We've been together since 2010. But that's something that you guys will know later on as we have yeah, yeah, questions. Yeah. As much as it is to share, you know, our experience and our thoughts as a married couple, it's also for you guys to get to know us. Um, that's, so. that's correct. For us to share, you know, 13 years, 13 years. You know, we can share a lot of things that we have learned in during our journey together. Yeah, 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 guys. Look who decided to join us. Make a little appearance. See you guys, man, <laughs> our dogs. This is one of our cats. Yeah, so this is Mimi. Tell us the story about Mimi. Well, A.V. was looking for a kitten and he was going to the pet store. All the cats that they had were like older. We wanted it for, for Marcos mainly because he was the one he asked for his birthday. That's why we got Luigi because <laughs> he asked for his birthday. Uh, he wanted a puppy and a cat and a kitten. They feel like that's more their dog and Lulu, which is the older dog, feels more like ours. So first, our, our first baby. <laughs> yeah, our first baby. So. And we got Mimi or Marcos, so it's what for everybody. So someone found her inside an abandoned car. And they were like a towing company and they were towing that car away. And she posted it in the Ring app saying, hey, I just found this kitten in this abandoned car that I was towing. And she had other dogs, but they were not cat friendly. So she was like, hey, does anybody want her? I can meet you today. And I'm like, yeah, hey, I take her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. basically we rescued her and she was less than one month old when we got her. Yeah, so we we got a kitten like we wanted and she's the sweetest she's a sweetheart like but when we got her she was so skinny she was like i don't know how long she was abandoned for uh, they said she was like what like a month old she was like less than a month so but when we got her she was super skinny she had worms inside of her and everything that's crazy but but now she's amazing yeah she's an amazing cat and i think she's like thankful i think that's a way of showing like gratitude to us okay yeah. guys but let's get into this video um we're gonna be answering 14 questions okay and um shout outs to the the griffin family uh they're they're awesome man uh, thank you guys for including us in this collaboration um it, it really means a lot to us we were really happy when when she reached out to us and told us that if you wanted to be a part of this we say yes without hesitation we are very thankful because they created this 14 questions are the bomb thank you very much keeping up with the griffins let's get into these questions y'all yeah? the first question is what is your anniversary date and how long have you been together? We have two anniversary days. Yes, we got two. And I know <laughs> both of them, okay. What's the first one? Uh, damn, you're going to put me in the spotlight. What's the first one? You're going to put me in the spotlight, baby. You said you know both of them. What's the first one? You were, just, you were just supposed to assume and move on, you know? <laughs> he said he knows them both. What's All the right, first so one? Our anniversary, our dating. dating anniversary is December 5th. 1990. Boy, if you don't. <laughs> 2010. Oh. <laughs> okay. 1990, you're like, what? <laughs> like, who, who are you dating, boy? So we got married September 25th. Yeah, that's my birthday. <laughs> so no, my, ber my birthday gift was her. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, he is, his birthday is September 25th, but we, we got married on September 29th. Mm -hmm. of 2012 yeah, so, so two years after 
we were dating. So once again, she was my birthday present. 21st. My 21st birthday present. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people get alcohol. I get fire. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> the second question is, tell us the story of the first time you saw each other. So she has to start it because she saw me first. I saw her afterwards. I saw her at church. That was the first time I ever saw her. It's like God, and he was like, here you go, son. <laughs> what you've been, been asking for your whole life, for your whole, for your whole 19 years of existence. <laughs> I, I was a poor little 19 year old boy that I had no idea what was about to come. <laughs> so mean. He is so mean. Hey, how, how old was I? 17. Okay. <laughs> you were 17. I was 19. <clears throat> um, yeah, so tell them the first time you saw me. So the first time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, back in high school. So in our high school, I went to the same high school as him, but I, I was only there for a short period. So we just trying to, you know, check me out. Like, <laughs> oh, where is he at? That's the one I'm going to catch. That's my prey. For some reason, like we never, I never talked to him or <coughs> him, he never talked to me. Because I never of... saw you. I'm going to talk to a ghost that I never seen before. She saw me from afar. She was like, man, this sexy ass boy over here. <laughs> Just laughing because you know it wasn't like that. <laughs> this is like, so how was it? Come on, this, okay, this so is for them to get to know us, baby. So we had a hallway called Spanish Hallway in our school where all the Spanish people will hang out and he will be there. So I used to see him from here and then, and for some reason, he will cut my eye, but we never talk or anything. I cut your eye, huh? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it was like something that was like, okay, <laughs> but we never talk or anything like that. And then I saw him again, like almost four years after <laughs> wow yeah because we were both out of high school no i was in high school still but when i saw oh, yeah, you, you was, i was yeah, a i was a french yeah, yeah you, you were still uh that was your, like your last year when we yeah when yeah. i was senior that was your last year uh -huh. so like three years basically apart saw him again at mm -hmm. his church that i was visiting my sister which she at that time she was very shy and she didn't speak to anybody and this, this is why I say, like, it's God moving the pieces because my sister, are, at a doctor's appointment, she met Daniela with my mom. And my sister, out of nowhere, invited her to go to come to our church. She was, like, so young. She was so young. So she, at that time, you know, like every kid like that, like, you know, not being, like, talking to strangers and, you know, opening up conversations and stuff like that. And she invited her to come to our church. She was, I, like, maybe 11? Yeah, so 10, 11. yeah, 10, 11 years <laughs> old. So it's like, what in the world, bro? And so she comes to our church. And um, I think uh, there was two people that came to the church <laughs> at that time, two new people. So my mom was like, oh, yeah, I invited, we invited this person to church. You know, she's married. She got kids and stuff like that. You remember? Yeah, there was somebody else. What you told me. And then, you know, I see Daniela. I didn't see the other person. I don't know who they were to this day, but <laughs> they, they were talking about her. And then I'm looking at Daniela like, Damn, she married her? Like, <laughs> like she got she got kids, bro. <laughs> you know, as, as time went on, on during the service, uh, I guess I wasn't paying much attention to the service. <laughs> I remember before this of what the preaching was about. Don't ask me what the preaching was about that day, because I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but it was like, uh, you know, I found out that obviously it was the other person that we're talking about that had the kids and uh, and that was married. So I was like, OK, I'm in there. <laughs> I'm still in there, you know. So um, I, I pull out my little trick, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I started tapping her, you know what I'm saying? You want some, you want some candy? <laughs> That was People my move. offered me little meds. <laughs> that was my little move to, to open up conversation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, hey, you want you want you want some candy? Was it meds? Like, was it little meds? Little white ones? Yeah, little white meds. And as she took it, I'm like, okay, okay, I'm in, I'm in there, I'm in there, you know. And then like two minutes go by, I'm like, you want a refill? <laughs> I'm like, you want a refill, baby? <laughs> and she said, yeah. So I'm like, okay. She took a refill. That must be something. Did I? I'm, I'm pretty, you're here, right? <laughs> you're here. <laughs> oh, 
so you know that's how we met that's those are like little bits of memory that we have together then after that you know i started encouraging him like you have to come to church every sunday and every tuesday because i gotta see you <laughs> he was gonna pick me up <laughs> So yeah, so that's how that's like how we met. I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it too long. You know, if you guys, if you want to hear more about this, we can actually do a whole another video on the first time we met. And we'll do a whole video just on that. How long okay. it took for us to start dating, maybe? Yeah, she had me. Um, what do they call it? She had me doing time, guys. <laughs> I had to do some time before I, I even kissed her or anything. Next, next question. question: What qualities or traits you see in me, and what are your favorites? So as a quality, I, he has a lot. Because we're talking about love and romance. And the heart to heart, I will focus in his love quality. So as his quality, he's very romantic. I love little details and he gives me a lot of small details. And to me, that counts so much. So for example, um, he will come out randomly just bring dinner flowers this and that like dessert just show up randomly just you know he will come set it up we will have some dinner together just us um alone we'll watch a movie and just just little details spontaneous means means a lot to me and he's very good at that oh okay i got some uh, like some popped up in my head but we're not gonna go into that this video won't be too long <laughs> Okay, one of the, my favorite traits on Daniela is just how kind she is and how lovable she is. Like she is a very, very loving person and her heart is, your heart is too big for your chest. Oh. And just how devoted you are to us, to your family, how unwavering and how you, every single day, you show us how much you love us. Like, that's one of my favorite traits. Oh. Next question. <laughs> What is the biggest lesson you have learned from each other? I think both of us have our own individual things that we have learned from each other. Um, one thing for me is definitely open up more. Learn how to open up more, how to express myself more. Not express myself more, but letting her know how I feel uh, instead of trying to deal with it myself uh, and not show any emotions and stuff like that and trying to be more open, have more communication. That's one thing that I, you have shown me. How to do how to communicate better yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'm glad i have been able to teach you that <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. you know to make our relationship better mm -hmm. in my case one of the bigger things that i have learned from amy is how to be persistent he is the type of person that when he wants something done until he doesn't find that answer or get it done he doesn't give up and that's something that he has been teaching me of not to give up on things okay all right. Glad I'm, I have been able to teach you something. <laughs> <laughs> he is something else. We're just trying to... We have a lot of questions and we don't want to make this video Yeah, we don't want to so make this long, video too so long. So that's why we're kind of trying to yeah. get into the questions. We're trying to give you some sweet and fast answers. So this video doesn't take too long. Yeah. Okay. So the next question is, how do you define love? Love has a lot of definitions. It all depends from what point you are seeing it. Because there's couple love, there is family love. But because we're in Valentine's, let's yes. talk about us. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> talk about, you know, our love. How do you, okay, but how do you define our love? Our love, in a simple way, I describe it as sweet, open communication, and ramen. And silliness. Yes. A lot of silliness. We do love a lot. How I define love or, you know, my definition of love is like wanting to see the other person happy no matter what. Like, you know, even before you're your own, like you want to see that person good. You want to see that person smiling. You want you do anything for that person to smile. And that's kind of our case. Like we always, you know, if one of us is down or one of us is going through something, that we will always make that extra effort to always, you know, make them feel that we're there for each other, you know? Yeah, that's, that's so, so true. That's how I define love. It's true. You know, he's right on that. We just try to be there for each other, as I, as I said before, support each other yeah. uh, on the other person's need. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so the next question is, how did having children affect you as a couple? As parents, one of the things that affect us as becoming parents is time for each other. Being able to go out, being able to have that freedom to do more things without thinking about the kids. Yeah, I think for you it was definitely sleep. 
at the beginning yes mm -hmm. at, the at the beginning, beginning. yeah it was, it was with marcos i mean it was new i mean every parent goes every parent goes through it uh, everybody's new at it so uh, it's one of the things that you learn as you go uh, and we definitely learned as we go i mean uh, we wasn't sleeping as much we didn't have time to really do anything uh i would you know work go home and then try to figure <laughs> what the next Help step me out. <laughs> what, what the next step was you know but it's something that we're both gonna cherish forever because it taught us a lot of lessons and then uh, as we go on it's like dealing with that is like had, has made us more and more efficient in life because it's like it, I even think about it now, it's like, yo, we're able to manage so many things now and we have to deal with the kids and, and not having enough time. It's like, I, I can only think, but we don't have the kids around anymore. It's like, we're going to be a freaking machine. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we are able to do so many things with them around and, you know, with them still being, having, uh, still being little and, you know, us having to do so much for them. We are able to do so many things. I can only imagine. All the things that we're gonna be able to do together once they're not as needy as they are now you know as when when they are you know out of the house or when they're, when they're already like in high school or you know more independent more independent and stuff like that so really looking forward to the future so right now what we don't have much time to go on dates or you know spend time outside the house without kids but we still try to take that time for us. Still try to do things together. We know that we'll be able to have that time alone as they grow. But right now, as we have been little, we still have to have that time and get that time for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just, for all the couples out there, always try to take time for yourself. Even if it's at the house with the kids, do it. It's important to take out that time to be together alone. Even if the kids are sleeping or whatever, yeah. you know, stay that time, have a little date night at the house, you know, prepare, whip up some olive garden on your own, you know. I'm only saying that because that's what I've done. <laughs> <laughs> and just, you know, have some quality time. For sure, for sure. Okay, so the next question, what movie or sitcom couple would you like your relationship to be similar to? You go ahead and answer that one because I can start mentioning things but don't ask me for what movie was that. <laughs> <laughs> she will watch a movie yesterday. And today, she don't know the name of the actor. She don't know the name of the movie. She don't know nothing. I just thought it was good. <laughs> and I liked it. I gotta watch it again. No, and the thing is, I will put a movie on and I'll be like, babe, you watch this movie? She's like, no. Okay. So, <laughs> halfway into the movie or sometimes even ending like some, it has happened sometimes that the movie ends and she'll be like oh yeah i saw this movie i'm like what halfway down the movie she's like i think i've seen this movie before <laughs> and she'll be doubting the whole cell like the whole second half of the movie she'll be doubting so i think it's over and then when the movie is done she'll be like oh i saw this movie <laughs> i'm like okay I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay. Well, I'll name some couples, but I want our relationship to be our relationship. I don't really compare it to anybody else's. Uh, our relationship is ours. It's, it's unique, you know. A couple that uh, we are similar to uh, it would have to be like Martin and Gina from Martin. Being young, being silly, you know, going through a lot of stuff together and still, you know, showing our love and, and, and our love be evident through everything that we go through, I mean, and, you know, still be funny and, you know, have silly moments all the time. I think that's us, you know, that's who I, I was, I don't say I wanted to be like, but I think it's similar too. And I think like, as we move on and as the kids get older, I think it's gonna evolve into like, uh, a Phil and Vivian from the Fresh Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna evolve into that, you know, dealing with the kids after they, they are older and teenagers and stuff like that. It's gonna like evolve into that. And definitely Neo and Trinity from the Matrix. Cause if your love don't bring me back to life, after my heart stops, then I don't want your love. That's the type of love I need in my life. Okay? <laughs> I'm pretty sure if my heart stops and she kisses me, oof, I'm coming back to life, baby. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so that's it. There are so many we can name, but that's just to name a few. The next question is, what is something that you think we both have in common? I feel we have a lot of things in common, not just one. But just to mention, um, it's just the way of thinking, the way of doing things the way of planning, just having the same mindset. It's just something that, you know, like you want coffee? I just know he wants coffee. It's just like, boom, you know, it's just connect. 
Yeah. That's something like it's easy to do and to go because I kind of know that he'll be okay with certain things because we both like the same, like going somewhere, doing certain things, and so on. I think what you're trying to say is like the way we move, like the way we move is the same, yeah. like the way we approach certain things. What about you? You have something different? What was it? Common? Oh, I think something we both have in common is that we like to, you know, adventure. Uh, we like yeah. to. You know, go see different things, you know, make memories, uh, doing whatever it may be. If it's, you know, go drive around, we can go drive around. If it's, you know, do anything just to have the memory. I think that's something that is something that I definitely developed over time and fell in love with it. It's something that obviously she she has always been like that. But it's something that I kind of always been like that but it's kind of flourishing now like being more adventurous and stuff like that and that's something that we definitely both have in common it's like being more adventurous and stuff like that yeah for sure so, for sure <laughs> watch out for those videos of us taking road trips oh we okay driving four hours just to go eat something and come back you know <laughs> yeah man it's, it's all about the adventure man like, road trips are the best okay so the next question question number nine is what brings you the most joy in our relationship, in our marriage? What brings me the most joy in our relationship is just knowing that I have somebody that got my back no matter what. Like, um, you know, always supporting me in, in whatever I do and always feeling that, you know, that person that has my back. That's what I, I love the most, you know? I do have something similar, it's just, why you want to support your partner that always say yes to you <laughs> and that's him like babe i want to do this okay babe go for it he has i cannot say he has never say no to me or to my dreams to my achievement and why i cannot do the same thing for him so we gotta give what we like to receive and yeah. that's basically something that he had taught me and not just that not just support and go ahead and do it but actually being like okay what do you need like i'm here for it so that's definitely something I love about it. It's not just like, okay, you know, go for it. It's not just go for it. It's like, okay, let's go for it. Like, what do we need to do? Like, right right away. It's never like a separate thing. Like, if that's your dream, that's my dream too. Like, let's go. It's not just him. It's like, whatever he do is me. Whatever I do is him because we're one. That's yeah. how I see it. It's yeah. like, no, it's not A, B. It's not Daniela. It's us together. Yeah. That's it. So, that's how we support each other. And that's one of the, the best things in our relationship. Yes. Okay, so the next question is, what are some long and short term goals that we have as couple? Um, short terms, um, I will have to say spending more quality time together, try to squeeze that in somehow <laughs> uh, and actually have like, a, you know, movie night or a date night or, you know, even if we can find somebody to watch the kids and us go, uh, you know, on a weekend trip or something like that just us you know we love doing stuff with the kids we do stuff with the kids all the time but i think that's something we're missing out a lot lately um you know having three kids is not easy uh it takes a lot of your time Sorry, their ages and and we know we have sacrificed so much of our like us time like to the point that we don't even have movie nights to a point that and affected a lot our relationship now that i think about it you know it's so important for us to have that time we used to have it all the time before like we used to watch series all the time together <laughs> movies all the time like bro like we used to go to sleep so late and like just binge watching a whole bunch of shows and stuff like that then the kids came and all that stuff like it was a cold start because that's how we needed to be so i think like one of our short terms should definitely be that like try to set out time for us to watch a movie or or to go out to eat or you know take the car just you, you and me and, and go somewhere and just you know just us spend yeah. some quality time like we still do it but with the kids yeah but it's not the same thing you know as doing it as parents and doing it as couple yeah so i think that's that's the short term right there. Yeah. and then for our long term um you have something for that one you said i'm gonna answer the short no i say i was gonna answer the short and you were gonna answer the long for the long term maybe we'll have another baby for the long term maybe in five years you're gonna have another baby <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, you crazy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just talking about time. He wants to get more things to take away time. What's the, um, so, there, there's a, there's a, what's it, a TikTok is like, I want problems. I want problems. <laughs> I don't want peace. I want problems, always. <laughs> I mean, 
our kids are our blessing and yes we might have another one who knows uh, but love. everything is i know i know we're gonna have i love this session right here because we're gonna come back to this the video we're gonna call close. this shot it's close we're gonna get this shot with a lot we're gonna be like this is what he said a couple of years ago but this is what we're doing now yeah that's that's a demolition crew came and just knocked the whole shop it's gone so for a our long term as you guys saw our vision board and if you haven't check out the video Me? you guys know what our, our goals are and it's just get stronger each day in our relationship be an example to others you know just do relationship goals like working out as we had in mind you know eating healthy which we already started doing and so on just having a healthy relationship is just the best long term that i can think of the next question is at this point in time today right now what are you most excited about in our relationship our marriage what are you most excited about how we are just how we can come up with each other how we support each other how we how our communication has grown how how our relationship got stronger and it's just we are in a point where it's just we're dating again i think it was the was it the vision board i don't remember which video it was that i i mentioned like it feels like we hit a sweet spot in our relationship yeah uh we got over a hump that we've been trying to get over a, a long long time ago and it just feels like we are able to be much much happy with, with with each other and and not be a burden to each other and you know and just be able to to be happy together so yeah it feels like i said like we're dating again and and like we're more in sync with each other and i feel that you know we are more clear on what we want for our future together and you know we're getting our our fitness goals together so both of us you know eating healthy together like no other. That's why, you know, we see a lot of people, you know, saying 2023 is the year, but like for us, it definitely feels like it's the year. It's the year because it's so many things came into fruition for us and so many things are lining up that it's like, you know, it's just only God can do that. So um, that's why I'm really, really, really excited for what's to come for us. <laughs> okay, so the next question is in what ways can we continue building and strengthening? our marriage communication is the key yes, yes. i think that's the only key to be honest <laughs> no it's still communication it's, it's the main it's one of the major keys <laughs> not the only one there's so many things but that's definitely one of the, the main one. ones i think with the communication you know when you are able to communicate with one another clearly there is just understanding when there's understanding there's no confusion and when there's no confusion just things everything else just move smooth without anything on the way kind of yeah communication that's that's really 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 big and also what we we're talking about spending quality time as much quality time as as we can that's one of the things that we're gonna be working on uh, most because like i said our communication is like top key right now and, and it will continue to be like that um so the next thing for us is definitely having more quality time yeah continue supporting each other like we always do um continue to push each other towards our goals our individual goals and also with that comes growing but not just as a couple but also growing as individuals you know growing as our own separate person you know the more you you grow and you learn by yourself you know and the more i learn and grow and, uh, as an individual it's only going to make us stronger as a couple it's also good for you to to have your own identity have your own personal time um you know uh it's needed sometimes for you to go do something by yourself or uh, with your friends or something you know yes i do agree with the personal time a lot I just think that uh, being together is amazing, but there's that time where each person have to kind of do their own thing. Yeah. You know, just have some personal time. Like for me, going out, he will watch the kids. Um, he will go to a heat game. I will stay with the kids. Yeah. It's just like he's doing something fun that he likes by himself, and I'm doing something that I like by myself. Yeah. And like it's a, just needed. Yeah, like I will go, you know, I will go to, to a game, to a basketball game with my homeboys 
or you know or she can go do something you know where they be go do her nails or you know whatever she wants to do whatever it is that she feels that she needs we, you need to go get a massage you, that's what you want to go do massage and be a hundred dollars go ahead baby <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no nah, definitely uh that's something that is needed you know it's don't, don't underestimate that i mean as small as it sounds it's something that is really really needed for you yeah, to have that yeah. even if it's an hour or two hours it goes a long way it's just like a recharging it's like as your phone needs battery so does our body yeah and just being in the same environment every day it gets you know your phone can can overheat for that mm -hmm. so you need like that break in time for you as well. so you're overheating is that what it is <laughs> <I'm good>. <laughs> <laughs> all righty next the next question is what is your love language physical touch <laughs> no no <laughs> um, mine is definitely quality time you know that uh, quality time just being able to spend time together no matter what it is just as long as we're doing something together that is not work that is not work i mean lately we've been spending a lot of time together but it's like working right so Something that is just us being relaxed. Doesn't matter what we're doing together, just as long as we're together. I do agree with that. Sometimes it will be like 11 p.m. And the other day, we just took a drive to Miami Beach with the kids. Yeah. And we just went over there and have some coffee. Yeah, we literally, <laughs> and we didn't even get out of the car. It was like, we just had some Starbucks, uh, a caramel frappuccino, baby. All the way. It wasn't, uh, it, was a, it wasn't a caramel it was frappuccino. A, it was a pistachio, pistachio. frappuccino. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Um, so, and we just we just stayed in the car. We just literally drove in Miami Beach. Like we didn't do nothing. We just drove around. Just drove around like for an hour. And like, it's something that it was fun to us. You yeah. know, that's that, to me that's quality time. It you was know? just relaxing, something different. We even saw new things that we never seen before. And it yeah. was just like something new to us. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we drive a lot there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we drive a lot to those places. And in that day, we saw a lot of things. You know, so. We definitely want to do that, you know, to other states. Like, just grab one week and just drive. And we've done it before, but we just kind of lost the habit of doing it. So it's something that we're going to start doing again. All right, so the 14th and last question. Based on your marriage, what advice could you offer other couples that may help them in some way? My advice from our own experience is put God first. Always. God first, you know, that faith is what have kept us together. Is what have kept us strong yep. and hanging in here. Number two, communication. As we say before, it's just the key. It's just so important to have communication mm -hmm. for everything. It's not like, oh, I make this decision, you make that one. No, you guys are one. You get, When you decide to join, to be married, it's not about you. It's not about him or her. It's about you guys as yeah, one. Every decision you make. So everything. every single thing. It can be the silliest thing. And it's communication. Mm -hmm. And when you learn to see that as just something naturally, as something that flows in your relationship, it will move on so well. And another really big thing is compromise. Um, yeah. It sounds harsh to, to a sense because oh compromise so i gotta give up things i like not really i mean you just you just gotta find yourself in the middle of everything you know find a solution to everything that is gonna benefit the both of you so that's a really big thing it's like learn how to compromise understand your partner man understand their point of view in some things like if you know they feel a certain way about something just shut up or try to create a problem just try to find a solution and just try to find yourself in the middle and once again communication that's what communication is all about you know so that's a really big thing compromise quality time like we were saying you know spend as much time find time when you don't have the time like if we can do it like with everything that we do you guys can do it you guys will laugh about this but there's time that we will you know put the kids to sleep and we will stay up like until late. Yeah. We would dress to impress each other and we'll have dinner together. Yeah. Like one time, <laughs> Amy's dad um, called him on video. It's like, where are you going? <laughs> he was dressed like <laughs> fully dressed. It was like yeah. nowhere. Just having dinner with Daniel at home. And it's just the little things. 
yeah. that matters being spontaneous yes it's like just, just like don't if you have kids don't use that as an excuse of why you cannot have that quality time there's always a way to have that quality time it yeah. can be at home like us when our kids are sleeping we stay up they already know when they see me drive, mom where are you going oh you're gonna, gonna be with dad <laughs> yeah. like, they already know yeah. you don't have to dress or look nice just when you're gonna be outside your house you can do it to be sitting watching a movie with your partner just the same yeah. way as you would do it to go to a movie theater yeah uh, laugh and have fun together you know being silly with each other uh, that's something that we've had like since the beginning of our relationship is just being able to be silly with each other you know and that's why i'm thankful for you know that I, that guy gave me daniela to be with because it's somebody that we can be ourselves with we don't you know we can be ourselves or be our own silly personalities like in that we are so common like we can be silly with each other you know i can do things to make her laugh and vice versa so you know it's really really good to, <laughs> to be able to be silly with each other and for last but not least you know it's not about just a relationship but your relationship yeah mm -hmm. you know just take that as priority just the same way as you take your job being on time or going somewhere have that like something big and when you see that as something big you will see it with different eyes. So that was all of our answers, guys. Uh, I hope that you had a, a good time listening to all of our answers. I hope that this video is not too, too long because uh, we can spend here hours. Hours, <laughs> hours and hours and hours just yeah. talking. Uh, there's a lot of the answers, like we didn't want to go too much in depth because obviously we don't have that much time. We don't want to make this into a series, but we can make this into a series actually. Who knows? Uh, who knows? Uh, if you like this type of content, let us, let know. us know and uh, we can definitely shop it up uh, every week with you guys or every other week, whenever uh, we can shop it up and just talk about our relationship because we got 13 years to talk about. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot to talk about. So with that being said, we are going to go ahead and tag four people. The first one is going to be Camille's Essence. The second one is going to be the A Plus Family. The A Plus Family. And the third one, Family Noodles. For last, the M and M Family. The M and M Family. Uh, we tag you guys to go ahead and take on this collab. Uh, it's really beneficial for both the persons that are doing it because you get to go down memory lane uh we got married really 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 young and, and you know it takes us back to those times where we're just meeting meeting each other so it's really beneficial for you guys to go down memory lane and you know reminisce on everything and also it's helpful i mean even though we just are speaking our story you never know who's looking in the background and you know you never know who's receiving in the other, in the other end so um we definitely uh encourage you to go ahead and, and do this collab. For sure, you never know who's watching, who you can touch, who yeah. might be going through a situation, and with your answers, you can help them. So that was it for today's video. Um, it wouldn't be right if I don't give you a kiss. It's been a romantic video with the the whole purple background, or pink, <laughs> whatever color it is. Um, it wouldn't be right if I don't kiss those beautiful red lips that have been staring at me this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Love you too. All right, that was it for today's video, guys. I think we're gonna go do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to check the playlist uh, that we're going to link in the description below. It's gonna have everybody's video that have been doing this collab. Uh, it's gonna be really, really helpful to everybody. Uh, definitely share the videos out. You know, comment, like it, so that way it can get pushed out. Because the the information that are being shared in these videos is super, super important. And we live in a time that we definitely need to be spreading, you know, what a healthy relationship is like, what a young relationship should be like. Definitely share those videos out and make sure you like them and subscribe to everybody. Show them love and support. Don't forget to check out our list below. Remember, every week we choose 10 different channels for you to follow and check out their content. All right, that was it for today's video. Bye. Hey, you know what? About you night and day
it's easy to share love with the most memorable cards you can give. Hundreds of designs to choose from to show your loved ones just how much they mean to you. Order today with free U.S. shipping and 15% off your order at lovepop.com.